Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the anatomy of human eye. Firstly, we will see the external structure of eye. The outer covering layer of eye which helps in protecting our eye from dust it is called eyelid the inner layer is called iris and the ball like structure is called pupil the left area of the eye is called sclera and this is internal structure of eye the eye is an important and one of the most complex sensory organs that we humans are endowed with like we know eye is one of the complex sensory organs it helps in visualizing objects and also helps us in light reception color and depth reception visualizing objects and color and depth reception the eye is an important and one of the most complex sensory organs that we humans are endowed with it helps us in visualizing objects and also helps us in light reception color and depth reception besides these sense organs such as nose eyes mouth skin etc the eyes are very pretty much similar to cameras which attracts easily and they helps us to see objects when light coming from outside which enters them that being said it is quite interesting to understand the structure of human eye it also helps us in understanding how a camera actually functions let's have a glance glance at the human eye and its functions let's see the structure of human eye a human eye is roughly 2.3 cm in diameter and is almost a spherical ball filled with a some fluid it consists of following parts like here shown the eye consisting of following parts optic nerve optic disc fovea centralis retina sclera choroid ciliary body lens cornea pupil aqueous body iris suspensory
iris is a muscular ring like structure behind the cornea the color of the iris indicates the color of eye actually iris also helps in regulate or adjust exposure by the adjusting the iris and next pupil so pupil is a small opening is the iris is known as a pupil its size is controlled with the help of iris it can it controls the sorry it controls the amount of light that enters the eye next lens behind the pupil there is a transparent structure called lens by the action of ciliary muscles it changes the shape of the focus on the retina it becomes thinner on focus on distant objects and becomes thicker to focus on the nearby objects when we are observing the near objects the lens our lens becomes very thicker and when we are observing very long objects it becomes very thinner next retina here it is this part is called retina the inner layer of sclera it is a light sensitive layer that consists of numerous nerve cells it consists of numerous nerve cells it covers it converts images formed by the lens into electrical impulse these electrical impulses are then transmitted to the brain through the optic nerve with the help of optic nerve the objects which our eye seen is transport to the brain optic nerve optic nerve are of two types these are include cones and rods here cones are nothing but nerve cells that are more sensitive to bright light they are helps in seeing colored objects and rods are nothing but nothing but which helps in to see dark objects or black and white objects optic nerve consists of cones and rods cones for to see color objects and rods for to see dark objects or colorless objects at the junction of the optic nerve and retina there are no sensory nerve cells so no vision is possible or no vision is possible at the point is known as a blind spot here and i also consist of six muscles it includes the medial rectus the eyes eyes consist of six muscles that first one is medial rectus lateral rectus superior re, superior rectus inferior rectus in fifth one inferior oblique and sixth one superior oblique the basic function of these muscles is to provide different tensions and torques that further control the movement of our eye
these six muscles are helps to control the movement of our eye and come to functions of our eye as we mentioned earlier the eye of a human being is like a camera much like the electronic device that human eye also focuses and lets in light to produce images so basically light says light rays that are deflected from or by distant objects land on the retina land on the retina enters and passes through various mediums like the cornea from the cornea where it is here through this cornea it enters into the retina to the various mediums like and crystal lens aqueous humor the lens and vitreous humor the human eye having different refractive indexes for example we can see here for air it is 1 point for cornea 1.376 for aqueous humor it is 1.336 for lens 1.42 for vitreous humor 1.336 that is as the light rays move through the various mediums they are experience refraction of light to put the simple terms refraction is nothing but the change in direction of the rays of light as they pass between different mediums so having different refractive indexes is what bends the rays to form an image the light says finally are received and focused on the retina the light is focused on the retina the retina contains photoreceptor cells called rods and cones frequently of the light further the image that is formed the processed by millions of these cells and they are also relay the signal to now impulse these millions of cells relay the signals to nerve impulse to the brain via the optic nerve the image formed usually inverted but the brain corrects this phenomenon is called as convex lens means the objects which is formed Uh, in in vertical position is corrected by our brain try to make my points as a notes thanks for watching